Hey there, Eli here, and today I want to talk about the Forbidden Trove's new tool for selling in bulk. I'll go over how to log into it, how to get there, etc. after we go through just a quick demonstration. But first, let's clear this out so you can see how I got to this list right here. So I'm going to click on that. These are all of my tabs that aren't remove only. If I click on this, as you can see in standard, there's quite a few of them, but we can uncheck that so we can have just our currently used tabs. And so I'm gonna go over here to the main currency tab. That's the one I want to look at, gets highlighted there. And I know this is a currency tab, so I'm gonna select currency. And it's using Ninja, PoE Ninja, to get all of its prices. So I'm going to say, you know what? This is a normal trade. I don't think anything's gonna be inflated like, you know, for example, maybe Veil Orbs during the league are gonna be really valuable. So maybe you'd set this as 110% right here, maybe not. Right here is where you'd set it for every currency. So I'm gonna say select tab. It's gonna go and take a look at what I have. And as you can see here, I can put specific multipliers on individual pieces of currency. So to my point earlier on Veil Orbs, I could say, all right, this is actually gonna be a 30% markup. We'll hit the check mark. And as you can see, that increases our chaos value to 682. You can then go ahead and hit this revert button if you want to set it back to 100. So how do we use this? What happens from here? First of all, you're probably not going to be selling every single piece of your currency. So I'd recommend hitting this check box next to the name and setting only the things that you are actively looking to sell right now. Once we do this, we can go ahead and put our in-game name here for whatever our character name is in the game and then hit generate discord message. And note this right here, remember to control V twice in discord. This is important and I'll show you why. We're gonna click on this and we get this right here that says the image was generated successfully and we'll come over to here and we'll hit control V once and then control V again. As you can see, we have some details, our character name, kind of what uh, we're selling in this list. And we'll hit upload, and then this is pasted in. So then you can go here and say, click on this and see exactly what it is that I'm selling in bulk, how many, and for how much. For another example with fossils, as you can see, people are already using this in the Discord. If I click here, I can see all of the fossils that this person has for trade, how many they have, uh, how much per, and how much for all of them. It's just an easy, quick way to post all of the items that you have of a particular type for sale and to put them all together. Now, if we go back to our list here, I want to include frags as well, so I'm gonna click on frag there and my fragment tab, and then we have our fragments added onto this list too. So let's say I wanted to, we can use this over here to just select our fragments for shaper. So we'll go ahead and say, you know, we want to sell our exalted orbs as well and clear that out. And so we've got our list here. So now I'm going to generate my discord message again, and we'll go back to my hidden space here. And now boom, I am selling currency as well as shaper fragments. So you can mix and match this to your heart's desire. If you do have a lot of items, this isn't terribly difficult to read. Okay, now that we have a quick and dirty rundown on how the tool works and what it does, I wanna show you how we get there and how we log into it. To get there, very simple, come to this URL. This will be linked below in the video description and then log in. The login, as you can see, if we go here, it uses OAuth, which is the same thing that Filterblade uses, which is NeverSync's loot filter, to link with your account. This means the tool uses Grinding Gear's API, which means Grinding Gear knows about it, and also, more importantly perhaps for some of you, that if you make a change to one of your tabs, like say you take out some of your exalts or put in some fragments or what have you, in order for the tool to see this update quickly, you want to change zones because this will force a update to Grinding Gear's API, which will then update your stash tabs. So right now I took out 30 exalts and I changed zones. So let's go back here and take a look. I'll close these out, go back to my main currency tab and currency. As we can see, I now have 160 exalts 
instead of 190 because that forced the API to go out and look at my stash and get updated. Now these updates do happen automatically over time. I don't know exactly how long it takes. It seems to be, from my experience, a cycle that the Grinding Gear API does to crawl through all the stash tabs to update itself, but by changing zones, you are forcing that API to look at your tabs and update, which in turn updates this. Now a couple smaller things that are useful to know and to touch on. The find tabs is a live update string, so you can type in M and it will filter by that automatically. For the list that comes out here that you are looking to sell from, you can update and say, I only want to sell items that have a 50 chaos asking price. So we can hit check on that. And then you can see it will uncheck everything else that doesn't have an asking price that is over 50 chaos. Or if you want to look at it another way, you could say the total value of what you're trying to sell in bulk has to reach 100 chaos, let's say. As you can see, that will update down to my chisels, and then everything else is not worth my time to sell. Or, of course, you can filter by stack. If you're looking for selling large stacks of things, you want to sell maybe 300 splinters, and you only want to sell if you have that many. So you can put in the stack of 50 or whatnot, and there you go, anything that has a stack size over 50. And then finally, if you want to modify the value of exalted orbs in relation to chaos, you can do that over here. You'd most often want to use this for underselling, and you can do that either by modifying the multiplier by saying it's 95% of the value that's listed on Pee Wee Ninja, in case you want to sell something really fast, or if you want to get more exact, you can modify it over here to an exact chaos value, and I would reset that to 100 there, and then you can undercut just a little bit. And I just realized you would want to make that number higher if you wanted to undercut, because then an exalt is worth more chaos. I can't do math, don't hold it against me. That's it for this tool. It's fairly straightforward, it is easy to use, and it should make selling things in bulk a little bit easier just in time for the new league. So hats off to the developers over at the Forbidden Trove who have been working on this and trying to make trading a little bit easier. Thanks for watching, and if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. And until next time, this is Eli, signing off.